this is the uh, kiln from the outside. Uh, basically, there's there's the kiln is separated into two chambers. Those are five foot baskets right there. So you got five foot, five foot, and then what we have is a space in the middle. And these are our reheating uh, down comers that are fed from that vent system that comes from the top of the uh, of the uh, uh, false ceiling. Of course, there's air coming out of that vent at the top as well as these down comers right here and it was all calculated and, and, and figured uh, so there was even uh, distribution of air throughout the system but um, um, so you got about I don't know two foot right here uh, between the baskets maybe three foot um, then I'm gonna walk over here um, and of course this is the other side of the kiln I'm gonna back up where you can see it uh, a little bit better but that's uh there's there's two rows on each side of the kiln and this is where the magic I think happens um, these are our fan walls on the side of the kiln so this this fan right here will blow forward pulling the air from this this uh, false wall up here um, and so it's pulling the air from the uh, from the uh, false ceiling down and then of course I'm gonna walk to the other side of the kiln and this is the opposite side of the kiln and of course we have one two three four more fans and what happens here is these fans will actually run in reverse of the other side wall so the air is actually being pulled into the, the fan up through the, uh, the wall right here and back up to that false ceiling. So, so you, you, your airflow goes from wall to wall and the way we were able to accomplish that, we simply wired this motor backwards. But when, when the system flips, and this will actually run forward now every three hours and that fan over there on the other wall will run in reverse. Um, these are our return vents, which I showed you on the outside. There's one on each side of the kiln that pulls the air out. Uh, we've got four of these uh, uh, temperature monitors in each corner of the kiln, uh, just monitoring for uh, uh, even air heat throughout. Of course, our wet bulb and dry bulbs are on the inside, and I'll show you those while we're here. You might be able to see them. Uh, our wet bulb is actually located in this false wall right there. And I doubt we'll be able to see the dry bulbs. Uh, nah, it's too dark in there. But uh, the dry bulbs are on the opposite sides. Uh, we got a dry bulb one on this wall. Uh, dry bulb two is on the other wall. So kind of gives you an idea of what our kiln looks like. Um, what we were hoping to do is load fire, uh, load lumber, two packs, uh, four foot wide. Uh, we're gonna make some special uh, shelves almost for our forklift to slide those in. And we'll put two packs, one pack on each, uh, two packs on this side, and two packs on this side, and go three high, just like our kiln baskets. We've got about 34 foot um, in in length, so we were thinking probably going uh, 12, 12, and 10 foot length in boards, and and just do two runs of them, uh, three high. So, um, anyways, uh, take a look at these videos. Let me know what your thoughts are.